this is the day that the Lord has made. Come on, let us rejoice and be glad in it. It's Wednesday, so you know what that means. It's time for the sweet hour of prayer. Welcome, people of God, to this moment where we come before the presence of God as the people of God to make our supplications toward our God. We're so glad that you're with us today. We pray that you've had a wonderful day so far, and if not, we pray that your day will be blessed as you experience this moment as we begin to talk to our God. If you have a prayer request, you're more than welcome to submit your prayer request and your praise reports unto us. The information is right there on the screen as to how you can submit your prayer request to us. We believe in the power of the partnership of prayer. We believe that one can chase a thousand, but two can put 10,000 to flight. So if you have a prayer request, we invite you to submit your prayer request to the information that's on the screen, either by the church telephone or by email or by the church website, or you can reach us on any social media platform. We would love to connect with you and we'd love to pray with you and pray for you. We also want to hear your praise reports. If God has been good to you and God has answered your prayer, especially after asking us to mix our faith with your faith, and God has answered your prayer, we'd like to hear from you. We love to hear praise reports. We get praise reports about how God has answered prayers all the time, and we'd love to hear what your praise report is. So please, ma'am, please, sir, if you're not, if, if you would do the, us the honor of sharing not only your prayer request, but also sharing your praise report at the information on the screen. We believe by faith that prayer requests do turn into praise reports. We believe that if we have the faith to bombard the throne of God, then God is faithful to hear us and to answer us and to give us what we need according to his riches and glory. So we look forward to hearing from you. Make sure you connect with us. We'd love to hear from you. Ah, come on in, people of God. We want to thank you for joining us on this sweet hour of prayer. Don't forget to like comment and share again like the, the 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 broadcast that you're seeing comment in the comment section and then please share this with somebody who may need this prayer that you're about to encounter you never know i can't think of anybody who doesn't need prayer and so it is our responsibility as people of god to share with others what God has shared with us. And we pray that this prayer will be a blessing unto you today. Don't forget to like, comment in the comment section, and also share with somebody else. Amen. Again, good afternoon. Welcome to the Sweet Hour Prayer or whatever day or time you're watching this. We pray that this will be a blessing unto you. Call a neighbor, call a friend. Let them know that Unity Baytown is on the air everywhere. This Sweet Hour Prayer is the Wednesday online prayer meeting here at Unity Missionary Baptist Church in Baytown, Texas. Thank you for allowing us into wherever space you're in, wherever you may be watching this. We appreciate you. Please comment. Let us know who you are. Let us know where you're watching us from. And uh, we will be blessed as a consequence of hearing from you. Amen. All right. Let's get into our prayer focus. All right. If you have your Bibles, turn with me to Lamentations. It's in the Old Testament book, right after the book of Jeremiah. Lamentations chapter 3. Lamentations chapter 3. Again, welcome to the Sweet Hour of Prayer. Um, I'm your host. I pray that you would enjoy this time with us together. Don't forget to join us every Wednesday here at the Sweet Hour of Prayer. Every Wednesday at high noon where we come before the presence of God as the people of God. All right. Lamentations chapter 3. Let's read verses 22 and 23. The very familiar passage of scripture too. Lamentations chapter 3 verses 22 and 23 and we're reading today from the New International Version of the Holy Writ. And this is what the Word of God says. Because of the Lord's great love we are not consumed for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. My God, what a word from the Lord. What an awesome encouragement that God is still faithful. And the reason why we're not consumed, why we're not destroyed, 
is because of the faithfulness of our God. And so today we want to thank God for his faithfulness. Thank God for his love toward us. Thank God for being the God that he is, has been, continues to be, and forever will be. The writer says in Hebrews chapter 13 that he is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore, which means he does not change. There's a big word there that says he is immutable. That means he cannot change. He's not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. So with that being said, let's go before our God in prayer today. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you now. We thank you at this moment of prayer. We thank you for this privilege to come before your presence, to talk to you. Your word says that we can come boldly before your presence to find help in the time of need. And God, if there was ever a time we needed you, we need you right now. Father, I ask in the name of Jesus that you would touch your people right now. Somebody needs you as a heart fixer. Somebody needs you as a mind regulator. Somebody needs you, God, as a friend. Somebody needs you as a confidant and a counselor and an encourager. And so, God, we thank you that everything that we need, the psalmist says, all that we have needed, thy hand has provided. And so, God, thank you for being our all in all. Thank you for being a faithful God, even when we have been unfaithful. You've been faithful. Even when we have not done everything you told us to do. God, you continue to do what you promised you would. You never, you've never backed down from your promise. You've never changed your mind. You've never turned your back on us. Whatever you spoke concerning us, it has come to pass and is coming to pass and will come to pass. We love you, God. We thank you. And Father, I'm lifting up this person who's watching me right now who feels like you've forsaken them. They feel like you've walked away from them. They feel like you're not talking to them or you're not doing what it is you promised you would do. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will continue to encourage them and let them know that you are not a man that you should lie, neither the son of man that you should repent. If you said it, you will do exactly what you said. And so now give us the strength, the wherewithal, to be patient, to endure, until you manifest what you stated. I'm lifting up this man of God who's waiting on your promises. I'm lifting up this woman of God who feels like she's doing it by herself. I lift up this young adult, Father, who does not have direction for where they need to go. Father, I thank you because I know you've guided us before. You've directed us before. You've blessed us before. You've spoken before. You've healed before. You've fixed it before. You've turned us around and turned it around before. And if you've done it before, you are a repeat offender. You can do it again. And God, we thank you that according to our faith and according to your will, your promises are yes and amen. Thank you, God. Because we know that every day we wake up, it's a renewed mercy. Whereas you should have destroyed us because of what we did yesterday. You blessed us today. And we're the, we're the beneficiaries of your grace. We're the benefactors of your love and your mercy. We don't deserve it. Nothing we've done, nothing we could ever do would warrant your grace and your mercy. But Father, thank you for looking beyond our faults and seeing our every need. Oh God, we bless your name today. Thank you for being faithful. Thank you for being trustworthy. Thank you for being credible. Thank you for being God who is God all by himself. So now, Father, as we go through the rest of this day and even through this week, we pray now, Father, that you will continue to remind us of how faithful you are. God, let the things that we see in the world, let the words that we hear, let the sights that we see, let them ever be a reminder of how faithful you are. Thank you for being a compassionate God. 
Thank you for being a loving God. Thank you for being a, a, a prayer answering, prayer hearing God. And so now we have a little more strength, a little more encouragement, a little more peace, a little more power. Father, I lift up this person right now who's lost a loved one. And Father, it's like this hurts. But the last time they went through something like this, you were, you were there and encouraging them and strengthening them. God, they need you to do it again. Father, somebody is in a financial strait and they don't know what to do. But God, you've helped them pay bills last time. You can do it again. So Father, be what you are. And that's God all by yourself. I thank you because you are yet God all by yourself. And so God, we bless you today. We honor you and we thank you for hearing and answering our prayers. But above all, thank you for being a prayer hearing, prayer answering, faithful God who renews his love and mercy for us every day. And it is so, and it cannot be otherwise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I'm excited because our God never fails. Did you hear that, child of God? Our God never fails. So whatever it is you need him to do, please understand, he never fails. And if he's, he's provided and protected and directed before, he will definitely do it again. Great is his mercy. Great is his faithfulness. All that we have needed, his hand has provided. Morning by morning. Hallelujah. That ought to encourage you today. That ought to strengthen you today. Because God has not forgotten about you. And God is still faithful to you. Even when you don't pray like you should. Even when we don't read our Bible and worship him and do what it is he's instructed us to do, he's still faithful to us. We serve that kind of God. Hallelujah. Well, our time is up for today. The Lord's will, I look forward to seeing you tonight in this virtual space. I, I, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see you tonight. Call a friend, call a neighbor, let them know to meet you tonight here in this virtual space for Wednesday with God online Bible study. I hope you enjoyed yourself today. Again, don't forget to like, comment, and share with somebody else. Again, like this broadcast, this prayer you just heard. Comment something positive, encouraging to somebody who may be watching, and then share it with somebody else. You never know who may need your strength and your encouragement. Well, we got to go. Also, don't forget that this coming Sunday, there will be no online streaming here on Sunday morning. I just want to make that announcement. There will be no online streaming here at Unity Baytown. If you want to worship, you have to come worship with us in person. So again, no online streaming this Sunday, just for this Sunday only. We will have in-person worship here at the sanctuary. And you're welcome to come. CDC requirements are in place. Please wear your mask. This Sunday at 11 o'clock, drive through communion is from 10 to 10.30, and then morning worship is at 11 o'clock. If you love to, we, I want you to be my guest this Sunday for Sunday morning worship in person at 11 a.m. Well, we got to go. As I always say unto you, may the rest of your week or may the rest of your day be the best of your day. We love you. Can't wait to see you until we meet again. The blessings of the Lord be upon you. We bless you in the name of the Lord. Peace and favor.